the seven in one USB C hub by Acer. Now, this looks like a cool little, I guess, somewhat a minor powerhouse of a device for your content creation. I guess if you got something like this, it's for low profile usage, right? Carry along with you. You connect to your iPad, your MacBook, and you want to do some content creation on the go, even with the new iPhone 15. That's right. You have USB-C options on this device. So let's take a look at what we got. This is Acer. So I would expect that it does come nicely packaged and it does nice, cool metallic build, nice space gray color here. And it feels pretty light right off the rip, almost as if it is 90% hollow. All right, and you get yourself a nice durable, heavy duty USB-C cable and a nice metallic USB-C header here on the front. 100 watt power delivery there, so you will be able to charge pretty much any device you have on the go, even if the most powerful MacBooks out there. You have 3.0 ports here to 5 gigabit 3.0 ports as well as a 5 gigabit USB-C port right there next to it and to SD card ports for micro as well as standard and all along the bottom you have yourself a nice HDMI that does about 4k 30 resolution so and that is all the ports on this and yeah this is going to give you your bare essentials that you need for I guess on the go content creation and data transfer so let's see what kind of performance this thing can actually do all right take the game is here we are with our Acer hub and we're going to do a simple little test checking via one of these five gigabit USB ports for my demonstration. I'm going to use the USB C 3.0 five gigabit port because well, I have a USB C hard drive, which does about five to 800 megabytes per second on a good day on most days. Um, and we're going to connect it directly to this hub and do a little quick speed test on my MacBook right here to see that we're getting the, f the throughput that this thing is advertising. So got all these wires in my face, let's get to it. Now, upon first connecting this Acer hub to your MacBook, for example, it's gonna ask to allow the accessories. So basically what you do is you click allow and you're ready to rock and roll. Here we are on the desktop. This is my Crucial X6 connected and we're going to select the target drive, right? Which we will do via the black magic speed tester and we're looking for the crucial x6 we'll just connect to the root drive click open and we're going to start testing let's see if we get somewhere between 400 megabytes per second to 500 we get 500 going through this hub it's a good day today all right here we go kicking it off and ooh, that little jump spike to 900 was awkward but um as suspected we're somewhere near the 500 mark which is pretty good and i'm expecting close to 400 on the read speeds which is typical with just about every single one of these hubs i've tested acer even cheaper name brand usb hubs and this is essentially what you're getting on a normal basis this is what i was expecting so for all intents and purposes, the speeds are looking pretty decent with this device. So overall, this is a very decent USB-C hub, both your average USB-C speeds via SD cards as well as SSDs. So if you're looking for a USB hub that does up to about 500 megabytes on the right, 400 on the read, then this is for you. Is it good enough for content creation? Yes, indeed. I would say that probably when you start editing in the 4K resolutions and trying to edit directly to a MacBook or your PC off of an SSD, then you might encounter some stuttering, some lag. So I would definitely recommend a 10 gigabit port or better USB-C hub, as well as probably a faster SSD, maybe at least a thousand megabytes per second. Then you can venture off into 4K editing a lot smoother. As far as getting your external displays at 4K 30, fantastic, pretty decent device. I would recommend it on the Tech Toys and Gaming Show. If you're interested, links in the description, get about $20 worth of hardware, right? It's $20 on Amazon. And with that, I'll see you in my next video later.